You can't go and laugh after me because I don't have curly hair. Mm-hmm. Tandere. I don't have shrinkage though. Mm. Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today it's the final day of Restyle in December. If you're new to my channel and you have no idea what Restyle in December is, that means you missed day one, day two, day three, and one of my favorites, day four. But not to worry, I'll be sure to have the playlist linked down in the description box so you can watch it and get all caught up with the five hairstyles I've already done in the past. And if you did enjoy the series, wanna share the video now? Gosh man, what the chaos I mean? I sure somebody on a Facebook or Twitter never seen my videos before and just might enjoy them. So share the video. I'll appreciate it. And for today's restyle, I'll be following along with a tutorial that I posted from back in February 2016. This was back when my hair was a tiny, teeny little afro and I had just started to really get used to my hair. Well, like, I wasn't used to my hair as yet, but I was just starting to learn my hair, learn its curl pattern, curl, wave pattern, and you know, trying to find out which products work for me and which did not. But that was over a year and a half ago. And you know who has gotten better at doing the wash and go? So basically, this restyle is gonna be a tad bit different. I'm going to be, yes, following along with the tutorial and you'll be following along with it too. However, I'm going to be showing you my updated wash and go. So basically you're going to hear more of me chatting than when um, I never really know what I did I do. Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today I'm going to show you guys how I created this uh, wash and go with a uh, flat twist to the side. Um, <laughs> I don't know what shirt and name to give it as yet, but yeah. Since the day I big chopped and started wearing my natural hair, I have only been doing wash and goes and braid outs and just been wearing my hair as an afro. But in this video, I was really, really trying to work through a lot of issues with me accepting my natural hair and loving my natural hair. So for me, constantly wearing my afro, the way it was just straight in a wash and go, was a way for me to accept my natural hair the way it was and to get used to seeing myself in that way. As a free saint, I was told by someone very dear and close to me that they tired of seeing me in the one hairstyle. So I decided that, all right, let me just spice up my afro a little bit. So when I did get that comment, I decided that it was about time that I gave my hair some kind of style. So, yeah, that's the story behind that. And, uh, that's how I created these flat twists to the front or to the side. So yeah, let me just show you guys what I did to achieve this look. So here I am starting on freshly shampooed hair and now I am going to detangle my hair with a white tube comb and it ten your free at last. So back then I applied my leave-in conditioner, detangled my hair, massaged my scalp with oil and then I was ready to style my hair. But now, whenever I'm starting a style, my hair is already thoroughly detangled from during my deep conditioning stage and I've already applied my leave-in conditioner from in the shower. I have two videos already posted showing you the details of my deep conditioning routine and my leave-in conditioning routine. So if you haven't seen those videos, I'll be sure to have it linked up in the iCards. I'm just finding where I want to part my hair or where I want the cane rows to, not cane rows, sorry, where I want the flat twist to be. So I just line out right at the side. And I want to know how far back I want the, the, the flat twist, so I just section that off. And one thing, with these flat twists, I try and make the part really defined. So that's why I use a, um, 
a rat tail comb and I really work on getting the, the part really sharp. So this was before I learned that trick about adding edge control to the roots of your cornrow so you can have it looking nice and shiny and a whole lot neater. I added hair elastics to the ends to secure the flat twist and I wrap it around my finger twice and then wrap it around the hair twice. Just pull the ends of the hair to tighten the flat twist and that's how you get the flat twist to really look nice and flat. <laughs> so for the wash and go segment of this hairstyle, for me, I my hair doesn't clump or get any kind of definition unless my hair is soaking wet. And I mean soaking wet as in straight from under the shower and then applying the product right away. And that is true up to this day. I need my hair soaking wet. So now I'm ready for the wash and go part of this style. And then I'm following that up with the Eden Body Works new product, the curling jelly. Now this curling jelly is really lightweight. It's the first time I'm using it. And for me, it didn't quite clump up my hair as I'd like. I don't use any of those products anymore. They don't work for me, and especially that Eden Body Work jelly. It flakes like a mother. So while my hair is still soaking wet with my leave-in conditioner in it, I'm going to apply my gel. Not jelly, not a custard, a gel. And I'm gonna be using a combination of two of my favorites, the Eco Style of Sport and the Wetline Extreme Gel. And I've mixed both of these gel in a two to one ratio in this little container right here. And from here on, it's very simple. I'm going to just part my hair into smaller sections and rake through my gel onto my hair. Curling my hair or getting my hair to clump is not an easy task. So that's when I decided to switch to the Eden Body Works Curl Defining Cream. Now that product did a lot better than the curling jelly for me and then before I go and shake my head I add more water from the spray bottle oh and another thing I kind of decided to add this video to the restyle series to kind of fling it in some people's face as a gentle reminder that my hair was always this curl pattern. This video is shortly after my big chop, before I even knew what a bentonite clay was, before I ever used heat on my hair, and before I ever even color treated my hair any at all. From the day I big chopped my hair, my curl pattern, <laughs> sorry, my wave pattern, has remained the same. So I just spray my hair with some more water and just thoroughly finger detangle my hair. And this will make sure that my hair is as clumped as possible and all my curls are, you know, a little more defined. So I know it already looks like my hair has on enough product. However, I'm going to add one more product just to seal everything off. And I'm going to be adding my Lot of Body Coconut and Shea Oil Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. For me, the leave-in conditioner moisturizes my hair, then the gel defines my curls and gives me hold, and then the mousse defines my curls just a little bit more and also tames the frizz in my hair. I don't add a lot. Once I realized how well my hair reacted to mousse, I added it to almost every style. Wash and go, twist out, braid out, perm rod set, flexi rod set, everything. You can see the difference? I can. So I've finished applying all of my products. Now I'm going to allow my hair to air dry and I just might sit under the dryer for about an hour or two. More than likely two or three. Hmm. I'll let you know when I come back. 
By the way, I don't always do my wash and go like this. I sometimes leave out the gel and just use the cream and the mousse alone. Or sometimes while I'm in the shower, I just roughly slap on some gel on my hair and wear it as a wash and go. It's not always this detailed. No. And we're finished. This is the end of day number five of Freestyle in December. my wash and go. I just, I just love it. Look at that. And I know this might sound strange, but the best part of my wash and go, to me, is the back of my hair. I just love how compact and dense all my little waves look from behind. And another thing, because I have gotten this coming before, um, why did I go through all of that when my hair is just going to end up not being very defined in the end? And the answer to that is, um, this is defined. Without the gel or the mousse, my hair would be a full rounded afro. Fully rounded. And if you try any other styles that I've created in this restyle series, be sure to tag me on Instagram or Facebook and I may feature your post in an upcoming tutorial. If you are new to this channel, be sure to check out the iCards. I'll have some more videos of mine up there so you can watch more of my videos, get familiar with my channel, and if you so choose to, you can subscribe. Okay, beauties, thanks again for watching. Later! Mwah! I done. I done. The series is done. The series is done. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> That blow drying brush and I'll tell you all the specs and detail about it but for today for this video let's get all the way excited you want to just see one braid going all around the head so just tuck it under and pin the main braid over it so 